really? Because I need to like do it, just to do it. I, I'm really working on a routine. So, you guys, you can, you can hang here if you want. It's all good. So, my comedy name is separate. It's Chuchy Missy. Yes, Chuchy! And subtitled with the bitch has issues, because I'm going to tell you why. I come from a big Polish Sicilian family. I have three brothers and three sisters. So, that's one other thing. The sauce. We gotta talk about sauce because I'm half Sicilian. Every Sunday it went like this. Wake up in the morning, smell sauce. Smell it, the garlic, smell it. Just like the pizza joint across the street, smells just like that. Polkas are playing. So here comes the confusion because I'm half Polish and half Sicilian. I come downstairs and the polkas are playing. I don't want to eat can have her. She's too fat for me. Sauce, she's too fat for me. Meatballs, she's too fat for me. Bread. So there's that. You know, this is why we got a little girth going on because, you know, we like to eat. Anyway, I'm going to talk about my baby sister, Jean, for a hot second because she's a hot mess. She's not a baby. She's 47. And she likes suitcases, and I'm going to tell you why. When the girl was about five years old, hell, I'll go four, because it was probably more like four, three and a half, four. My mom had powder blue Samsonite luggage, and we loved that luggage. My mom always said, take care of that luggage. Please don't damage it. It's my favorite luggage. Heavy-duty stuff a gorilla could jump on. My baby sister Jeannie wanted to be in the suitcase and have us throw it down the stairs. Now, when we were kids, the staircase went around like that. It wasn't just break down, it was like around like that. So we threw it downstairs, get to the bottom, open it up, and she's like, do it again, do it again. So we threw it again. This time, just a tiny bit harder. But not too hard, because we don't piss mom off by damaging the luggage. So anyway, throw it harder this time. Get to the bottom of the stairs, we open it up, and she's like, please do it again. But this time she's a little bit loopy. So the next time, the last time, we throw it with force down those stairs. We open it up. See those little cartoon birdies over her head. Happy birthday, she says. That's not anybody's damn birthday. This girl's messed up. Now I'm going to cut to last year. She buys luggage at Cole's department store, and she calls me. She says, Missy, guess what I did at Kohl's? I said, what? She goes, I bought luggage, but I got to tell you why I bought this luggage. I said, please don't tell me you got into luggage. This bitch got into luggage in Kohl's department store. She opened this shit up <laughs> and got in it to make sure she could still fit in a damn suitcase. And I'm thinking, she's trying to fly for nothing. <laughs> Somebody's going to try and put her in the overhead rack. So that's Jeannie, messed up girl. Now I messed up because when I was one, I was dangled in front of a German shepherd. When I was two, I was thrown into a 10 foot swimming pool. <laughs> that's not even the half of it. So, did you ever see a bike with four people on it? And I'm talking coaster brakes, not even. With baskets on the back, there's my sister pedaling. I'm on the seat, my baby sister's on the back with her ass on the fenders and her, her legs in the baskets. And my youngest brother, Tom, is on the front, on the handlebars. We're going to get free lunch. Because seven kids, you know, we pull, we can't afford to eat all the time. So we're going to get free lunch. And by the way, it's the nun's bicycle. They live two doors down and trusted us enough to take the damn thing. Here's why I messed up. We turn a corner to Twin Trees too. Over near Essex, here comes a big car. I fly off the bike. Boom, hit my head on somebody's car. <laughs> now I'm seeing birds. So, I think with all the beatings and, and getting bashed around, by the way, the nun's bike, we did smash out the baskets because they got a little smashed in. When we gave it back to them, we were honest and we told them. We said, we, we, we got in an accident. Well, we know that, but why'd you try and fix it? Well, because we didn't want to give it back to you broken. And so now, nuns, me, don't get along. I'm in church school and I get kicked out at 10 years old. Again, I messed up. I'm gonna tell you this real quick. <laughs> There's a girl sitting next to me. We're reading out of those monthly missalette books because I was Catholic, I'm recovering. And um, 
Isn't that lovely? I'm a recovering Catholic. Well, it got to the point where I was abusing it so much I was pushing it on other people, so I stopped using it. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, so at 10 years old, they kicked me out because the girl next to me, instead of reading Holy Eucharist, it said Holy Uterus, she said. Holy Uterus, and I busted out laughing. They kicked me out. So that's okay. It's okay. A month later, I tried to go back with my baby sister. We're sitting in this little pew Sunday. They're ringing the bells. Ding, 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 you know. And I'm doing like this with my fingers. Ring, 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 ring. Doesn't somebody catch me? And they grab me by the ear and get the hell out. So me and church don't get along. I call it church. You can use it if you want to. I love it. Just not for me. <laughs> so, Scotty? Scotty? I think we're done. One more? All right. <laughs> this is my mantra. <laughs> this, is the, this is the song from when we were kids. We made it up because we couldn't stand country music. That's it.